guys it's google 55 here and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh ringtones for your iphone just using uh itunes but before we do that i just wanted uh to let you guys know it's a really awesome channel um off-road madness one and the link is right here in this annotation and his videos are pretty funny so you've got to check him out um and also that i became a youtube partner so I'd like to thank all my subscribers for that, and I know I don't have too many subscribers, but it did help a lot, and I'd really like to thank you guys for making that possible. Anyway, so let's get right to the video. So anyways, you're going to want to open up iTunes, and this might take a while. And you want to choose the song. So here I'll choose Hello Seattle by Owl City. And this is the song that I want to make my ringtone out of. So obviously ringtone isn't going to be the whole song. So what you want to do is select the amount of the song that you would like to use as your ringtone. So what you want to do is right click the song and click on uh, Get Info. And then go to Options check these two boxes start time and stop time and set the start time in there and then the time that you want it to stop so most ringtones are about 20 seconds long so i'm gonna just for this example i haven't even checked the times that i want to make this ringtone of but uh i made the start time zero and stop time tw uh 20 seconds click ok and then what you want to do is right click the song and click on create a AC version. Okay, and that should take a couple of seconds. And now you should see two listings. Uh, one which is the full song length. And then one that is 20 seconds or however long your ringtone is. What you want to do is take the one that uh, is you can use as your ringtone and drag it onto the desktop. Now also what you're going to want to do is right click the old one and click on get info options and uncheck the start and stop time or else the song will just play like that all the time and you also want to delete from itunes the aac audio file uh that you just made so your ringtone one you want to right click it click on delete and then move to recycle bin and there now you want to minimize iTunes for a second, and now you'll see this on your desktop. If you didn't copy it over, then you should have before you deleted that. Um, now, what you're going to want to do is change the extension here. Now, if you don't see an extension, if it just shows the song name but no .m4a, what you want to do is click on Start, Control Panel, and then you want to go to Appearance and Personalization, Folder Options, go to View, and uncheck the box that says hide extension for known file types and click on apply and then okay and then you should see the extension so what you want to do is right click it click on rename <coughs> sorry and change the m4a to m4r and click on enter and if this comes up just click yes and now it might just be a blank icon or it might show like a ringtone file but what you want to do now is open up itunes again and drag the file into this library section over here and it should uh, and then you should have a new thing called ringtones and you'll see that your ringtone is in there so if i play it now next time you sync your uh, iphone with iTunes, that ringtone will get copied over to your iPhone. So, thank you for watching. I hope that this video helped. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I need ideas for new videos. So, always, you can personal message me if you need something done or don't know how to do something. Or if you just want video saying how to do something. Go ahead. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I should be out with another tutorial pretty soon.